Okay, we've got Clifton, Jerron, and Robert Finnessy, so open it up for first question. Zach, you take this one. We're Yes, Duran, what, what, what exactly do you have there? Oh, just a little vlog. <laughs> That's not nothing big. Coach talked about your recovery process at this point, that, that you started running again in June. You started to be able to do some contact stuff. Just where do you feel like you are and where do you feel like you want to be by, let's say, um, you know, the start of the season? Um, I feel pretty good. Uh, I'm just starting to experience just a um, little discomfort. But other than that, this process has been smooth. Um, and really, I'm just – Planning on being back by the first game. Um, I don't know how healthy I'd be. Just here at the time, it was still kind of weird looking. But you know, I'm just trying to you know contribute to anything and everything I can. Hey Rob, uh, Joan was just saying that he felt that you came in and caught on quickly. That, that you were a quick study. Um, I heard that even when you were still up at McCutcheon, that you came down uh, occasionally to watch practice and study some Indiana game tape and whatnot. Is that true? Yeah, I did. Um, every time I came down, I tried to pay attention to what they do, were doing in the game and um, just how each coach were coaching the players during the games. Okay. Rob, after, be, after being here with the team for a month or so, how do you see your game fitting in with the team this year? Oh, really well. We play a lot of uh, transition ball and we use a lot of ball screens, so I feel like that fits my game. Hey, Rob, what are the key things that you felt like you needed to improve on to be as ready as possible to contribute right away as a freshman? Uh, just getting a lot stronger and um, really just listening to whatever coach tells me and just locking on defense. I feel like I can play. Duran, given the way Jawan kind of came on last season and then Justin emerged in the front court and you add Romeo into the mix, how do you foresee your role changing this year, if at all? Um, honestly, just part of my my role just probably continue to do what I'm doing, you know, be dominant in the post. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm a great passer, so, you know, I can you know, draw the double team, kick it out. Romeo's a great shooter, offensive player, so he's going to uh, open the floor up a lot for me. And, you know, j Mo on the other end, and j Mo's actually expanding his game way to the three-point line. So, I mean, he's kind of, you know, a do-it-all player. So I feel like, you know, my role is not going to change at all, really, just to, uh, you know, become a better leader and grow in that area. Yes, Clifton, a year on, just where do you feel like your game is? What are maybe the, the, the biggest steps forward you feel like you've taken from this point a year ago? I feel like the biggest things for me is becoming more comfortable in the core principles that we teach every day and uh, just going out there and playing more confidently and having a year of strength under my belt and just adding on to my game. They do a great job of development, and I feel like I'm a better player than last year. Jerron, how much talent you see on this team maybe compared to the other ones you played on here, but it just seems like there's talent at every position, maybe more so than you've had. Yeah, I feel like my um, my freshman year, we was actually pretty talented with the guys I had and, uh, you know, the guys I had to look up to. But I feel like this year we're just a bigger team. We can uh, spread the floor a lot more, and uh, we run the floor well. So um, overall, I just feel like these this team compared to all the other teams is just the size difference. It's probably the biggest thing I noticed. Rob, you probably knew Romeo the best. What, what has surprised you having played with him now every day? And uh, how, Is he a guy that also could help with the point guard position and, and handle the ball? Because Juwan talked about how, how good he's been passing the ball. Oh, yeah, he's a do-it-all player. Um, he's really smart and he can pass. He pretty much he can do it all. So, I mean, he's not st um, stuck to one position. Yeah, this is for uh, you know, Cliff and Duran especially. You know, Duran, you just mentioned it's a bigger team. Um, you know, a guy like Evan Fistner comes in. Talk about him a little bit. And guys like Race Thompson that the fans haven't seen yet. Some of the guys that you share the front court stuff with. Talk about those those guys. Um, well, I know that uh, um, Evan, he he real smooth on and off the court. So, and uh, the way he plays his game is real nice. Like, he got that soft jump shot. He, he gets to the rim real smoothly. I think he's going to be able to, like another guy like Romeo, he's going to be able to spread the floor. Um, and I think, you know, people underestimate his post game too. He's a real, you know, smooth and uh, like majestic post game. So I feel like, you know, 
this team is like a mixture. Like we can really, so really no limits right now. Like everybody's just playing, trying to build chemistry and just trying to, you know, learn their roles. I feel like Race, um, he's very strong in the post and, and he's got great post moves. And just like me, he's become more comfortable and he's playing more confidently and becoming a player that um, I see is going to be very good. And Jake is, uh, he's learned very well and he's got a lot of energy mm -hmm. attacking the glass and uh, for rebounds and just, he's just been picking up on the concepts very well. Duran, after the last couple of years, you're not making the tournament, the whole coaching transition. Coming into this year now, how much more now do you guys maybe expect winning, you know, this season? Um, honestly, we just focus on the day to day. Um, you know, our mind, you know, our goal is to, you know, win a national championship, but we're not focused on that. We focus on getting better each and every day. Um, you know, building chemistry and just trying to be ready for the first game. I feel like we're gonna take one game at a time and, you know, shoot for, you know, small goals. I feel like, you know, Big Ten championship. You know, win the Big Ten tournament, just, you know, work our way up. So just, you know, focusing on ourselves and, uh, you know, getting better as a team. <laughs> Clifton, you and Jake are both from a very similar area. Did you guys know each other, have a relationship before he got here? And how has that relationship developed? Um, I definitely knew Jake before he came here. We never had, really had, like, a, a close connection, but we knew of each other. And uh, I just feel that. Um, as soon as we knew we were from the same area, we connected more uh, from the very start. Uh, Coach, what are the big keys for you to make more of an impact this year? And kind of how do you envision, you know, your ideal role this year would be what? Um, I believe that I just need to play the game that I know I could play. And by doing that, I need to um, follow the, um, the game plan that we do every day in and out of practice. Um, and how we play in the transition that we play. And uh, I feel that um, I need to be more versatile. Rob, you talked about what you see in Romeo on the court. But when I see you around campus, you're always with Romeo. What's your relationship like off the court? Uh, we're pretty close. We're roommates. And um, we have a couple classes together. So we're close. Anything else for these guys? Okay, Rob, who, who wins in Fort, Fortnite? Uh, I mean, that's. Uh, I, mean, I know that was an off season thing, too. I mean, I'm better than him, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm better than him. What I really wanted to ask was, was you know, how, how would you characterize your freshman class if you can? Generalize on the court, what, what, what do you expect it to bring then? Off the court, what kind of dudes are they? Uh, off the court, everybody's well connected, especially in the summer. I mean, everybody, we're all clowns, I would say that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. uh, but I mean, on the court, we bring energy and um, everybody's just really together. We play as a team and nobody has a big head, so. Yeah. Ron, you want to add anything? You good? I mean, you know, my class is definitely better, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, thank you. Thank you.